welcome back to my channel and if you guys know or don't know I don't know my birthday just went by it was November 16th and man it has been a whirlwind it really has uh, since I uploaded my last few videos with like wrapping for my friends for Christmas and stuff like that I have been going through <laughs> Hell, literal hell, and I'm gonna let you guys know what's been going on with me because it's just been, it's just been crazy. Like, just, like, I know, like, there's so much worse that could be going on in the world and to different people or whatever, but, you know, this, this just bummed me out and I haven't been feeling the best. It's just been very stressful, so much anxiety and so much, like, pain within what's been going on with my house recently and just because it was my birthday weekend um, going through this just kind of put me in a sad kind of bummed out mood because I wasn't really able to do all the things that I wanted to do <clears throat> and I was kind of restricted and limited you know to doing fun things because of my health so Last week, I woke up and I felt a lump in my breast, my right breast. It really hurt really, really bad. It was all red, like a circular red, and it was hot to the touch. And I kind of felt like feverish symptoms. It just totally freaked me out hardcore. So uh, I made a doctor's appointment for the ne very next day and I went and she checked. She did an examination and she said, wow, like this is really big. Like it's a big lump. It's like eight by six centimeters big. And like, how did you just notice this? This has to have been going on for a few days. And I'm like, I literally just noticed it. I don't know. Like I just noticed it now. And she was like, kind of like shocked, like, um, a little bit frantic and she was like, I think you need to see a surgeon to make an incision and potential drainage or removal of whatever this is. Could be a cyst, could be a tumor, we don't know, but it's definitely infected because it hurts, it's red, and I'm in having like feverish symptoms. So right away she get, got me on like antibiotics and I was supposed to take four a day and that reminds me actually I have to take my next one right freaking now. Guys, if ever you're taking antibiotics or any kind of medication, make sure you set a timer on your phone for every time you're supposed to take them because that is a problem for me. I, I continually forget. <laughs> to take them because my life is just so insane, especially this time of year. By the way, Christmas wine glass. It has, it only has water in it, I swear. But isn't this the cutest thing ever? Anyways, <clears throat> so she got me on antibiotics. I was supposed to take them four times a day and I'm gonna continue taking them until uh, seven days is up. If any of you know, you know, how antibiotics work, they make you feel sick, they give you the runs, they make you feel nauseous, they make you feel tired, they take away your appetite a lot of the times. Like, everybody's different and some are more severe than others, but it definitely took a huge toll on me and is still taking a huge toll on me. Um, I haven't really been eating much. Every time I eat, I feel sick and I want to throw up. Um, I keep having to go to the bathroom. I've been in the bathroom. I, on my actual birthday, I was in the bathroom for hours. It just, yeah, it, it just sucked. It just sucked. Um, but they are helping because the lump has shrunken up and <clears throat> the feverish symptoms are going away. She also wanted me to book an ultrasound for the next day, so I went in for an ultrasound the next morning, they took an ultrasound and I found out that there's two complex cysts in my right breast that they don't know yet whether they want to remove them or drain them. I will find that out next week when I meet up with the surgeon on the 25th. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. But 
I wanted to tell you guys the most embarrassing thing that happened to me on my birthday weekend and I literally have to say it's the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me in my entire life that I can think of the most embarrassing thing so now you know the background of it all so prior to any of this happening Luca and I booked a hotel downtown Toronto and we wanted to have like a little spa day so we booked this spa package couple spa package where you get like an aroma bath aromatherapy bath there's a jacuzzi candle lights uh, champagne and fruit and then you get a 30 minute couples massage so I'm in the bath and I decided what I can like take a little sip of champagne and have some fruit it's fine it's not gonna hurt me big mistake you're not supposed to drink alcohol on antibiotics but I figured like what's a little Prosecco like that's really gonna hurt me that bad if I just take a little sip of it like I paid for it I want to have a good time so I drank my Prosecco and it was time to have the couple's massage so I went into the bed and the guy comes out he's massaging my back and I feel my stomach start bubbling it starts bubbling and it starts turning and it starts to hurt really bad and i'm really shy and i have serious social anxiety so of course i'm just dealing with it silently i'm praying that he goes to a different location on my body or he just the massage is over it's ended i'm ugh, i'm in pain so the longer it goes, the more he's pushing on my lower back and I am in excruciating pain and anxiety and my toes and fingers are starting to clench and curl and I'm sweating and my heart is beating so fast and finally he's like noticing and he's like is everything okay are you okay and I'm like I'm literally down like this and I'm like no can you please get out I really have to go to the bathroom and just all get because when I was lying there I was like okay it got to a point where I'm like either I tell him to get out of the room so I can go to the bathroom or I shit the bed one or the other and it has to happen now is what like this was the point I got to so he was like, uh, okay, and him and the other lady that was doing Luca left the room and Luca's like all wrapped up and like so comfortable in the bed and like getting his massage and I'm like, uh, like so I felt so bad because like Luca's enjoying himself and I'm just like sweating having anxiety attacks so I, he sits up and he's like, babe, are you okay? And I'm like in tears like, I'm having an anxiety attack right now. I'm literally like, I gotta go to the bathroom. I feel so sick. My stomach is cramping and it hurts. And so I go to the bathroom. We, you can only imagine what happened in the bathroom after antibiotics and Prosecco. A big, big problem so I'm in excruciating pain it got to the point where like you know when your stomach hurts so bad that you have to like bend over and like hold your stomach because it hurts so bad the massage therapists are like knocking on the door like are you guys ready like can we continue and I like look at Luca and I'm like please tell them that we have to stop I'm so sorry I was like crying and like sweating and having anxiety and I'm like I'm in so much pain there's no way I can continue this massage and I felt so bad for Luca, I just kept apologizing to him because he was enjoying his massage and whatever. And this is my birthday, like, this is what I wanted for my birthday, is just to have, relax. It's my fault, I never should have drank the Prosecco, but... <laughs> like, $400 later, because that's what the package cost, and I didn't even get my massage. You know, I was really sad, I was really upset, but I was so embarrassed of this. I was so embarrassed. And I had a whole night planned after this whole zen massage thing. My friends and family were supposed to meet me for dinner downtown and then go for like, like a lounging after. 
And as soon as we left the massage place, we ran into the hotel room and I was in the bathroom with the runs for hours. To literally hours to the point where my parents had to come to the hotel to give me a modium. And everyone else, while I was in the bathroom with the runs, was waiting for me at the restaurant. I thought I was gonna die. I, like, it was the worst night ever. And I was looking forward to it so much. And like, I couldn't eat anything I wanted to eat at the restaurant that I booked. I couldn't drink with my friends or family. Like, I don't know. It, it's just, I work really, really hard throughout the entire year. And like my birthday is like the one time that I get to like do what I want to do and like have my friends and my family, the people who I love the most surrounding me and I could just kind of like let loose and have fun. But I was like in so much pain the whole time. I was sick. I was nauseous. I was ha having the runs and I just spent a a whole bunch of money and it all went to waste and it's just like I just had the worst <sighs> but you know it could have been worse I guess I'm just I'm just so butthurt about it I'm just so bummed out about it but whatever there's so many things that could happen that are, is worse you know but anyway so I'm still dealing with it right now um, I will be seeing the surgeon on the 25th and I'm going to continue taking my antibiotics for the next like two days and see what happens there. So yeah, pray for me, <laughs> pray for me. But yeah, that was, uh, that was my birthday catastrophe story and the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me. And, like, the worst part is when I was, like, in the bathroom, in the massage room, and the people were, like, knocking on the doors, like, waiting for me to get out. Like, they literally, Luca told them, she's in the bathroom, she's on antibiotics, she's having the runs, like, she's in pain, we can't continue. They literally waited for me to get out of the bathroom, for me to do the walk of shame. They know that I was literally having the runs in there. And they like were talking to me about it and like the lady hugged me and she was like, oh, like make sure you take your probiotics. And like the, the guy looked so stressed out because he was the one who was like rubbing my back. He thought that he did something wrong, but he didn't. And it was just so embarrassing. It was just so embarrassing. Anyways, we're gonna move on. <laughs> thank you guys for watching this video and thank you so much for wishing me a happy birthday and my next video I'm gonna show you guys what I got for my birthday all in all I was surrounded by the people I love my friends and my family so I was in good company so it did end off really nice my birthday did because I ended up you know feeling so loved and supported by the people that were there for me that night. So definitely thankful and appreciative of that. I think it definitely could have gotten a lot worse. After the Imodium, I was fine to go out and be with my friends, even though I couldn't eat anything or drink anything. Um, I still felt like love from them, so that's nice. And I'm definitely very thankful and appreciative of that. So... Thank you so much for watching this video. Click that thumbs up button if you enjoyed it and hit subscribe if you haven't already and please click, click the post notification bell because you will not be notified or know when I upload videos unless you click the notification bell. So please do that and I will see you in my next video, what I got for my birthday. See you then. Bye.